Welcome to our Jurassic Island walkthrough. So it starts by me turning on the tin can cable car, and that goes and pushes over the dominoes. The dominoes push a mighty beam down a plastic tube where it hits a sn hibernating snake. The snake slides down the tracks and rams into a red car attached to Granny Smith. When the red car propels forward, Granny Smith is pulled away, releasing the green car down the track and hitting a dinosaur living in Granny's home. When the dinosaur falls into the cage, it pulls another dinosaur, starting an avalanche with the golf ball. The golf ball goes down tilted ledges until it hits a golf, uh, copper ball. And when it hits a copper ball, it ricochets. And the force of that, push the two golf balls push the school bus down into the volcano. So when the copper ball is hit, it goes down another tilted ledge until it hits a toy dynamite stick. That toy dynamite stick at the mine launches the speed racer car and bumps the blue car into the launcher. It speeds through the launcher and hits the awaiting mouth and nostrils of a giant Spinosaurus. When a Spinosaurus is hit, his tail is flung back and lands on the dinosaur trap. The dinosaur trap pulls a skewer out of place, release, letting a boat um, blow, blow across the water with precious cargo eggs. When it hits a container, the steel marble is dropped, pushing the glass marble up a lift mechanism. The glass marble rolls down the marble run, hits another steel marble, and both marbles fall into the Dixie cup with wire at the bottom to complete a circuit. When the circuit is completed, a motor spins a dinosaur carousel which pulls out a skewer, releasing a battery-operated car to enter the Jurassic Island Park. It climbs all the way up. It ascends all the way up around the tree and hits a paint stick. When the paint stick is hit, it jostles loose a plane which comes down and hits a dinosaur cage which presses against the mousetrap. Mousetrap is hit. It, tur it tilts. Um, the ledge which drops Dolly Madison to the volcano as a sacrifice. When the ledge is tilted, it, on the other side, it pulls a magnet up, which releases a string holding a cage. The cage falls over a dinosaur and on a mousetrap. And when that mousetrap is triggered, it pulls open the dinosaur pop-up hook. And when that is opened, it pulls out another bamboo skewer, releasing the coconut to roll down down and into the giant tree and it knocks over a weighted bucket. When the weighted bucket is knocked over, it pulls down a velcro which was holding the ribs of the umbrella closed. The, it, is, it is pulled down and the ribs of the umbrella open and the coconut falls over our fortunate guests.